What's going on guys? So today we're going to talk about supplements. What supplements I use, what supplements that you guys should use if you're interested in doing it. So if that does not interest you, then you can go ahead and click off this video during the intro that's going to roll right now. So we got a slightly different angle here. Uh, I just want to mention this before the video starts that uh, the day I upload this video is around about the time I'm going to be hitting 40,000 subscribers. So first off, thank you for that. But what I did for 20,000 subscribers was a BPN giveaway. So for 40,000, I'm also going to be doing a BPN giveaway. So head over to my Instagram. I think it's right here. Uh, head over there. Leave a comment of any two things that you want from BPN. Any two things. You can watch this video, the rest of this video, kind of see what kind of different products and stuff that they have. But uh, yeah, so head over to my Instagram. I just want to tell you guys that right now, BPN giveaway. So I did a live stream the other day about fitness, or at least it was supposed to be centered around fitness. And I didn't realize, you know, how many people didn't really know that much about supplements. And I get a few questions, not really all that much about supplements, what to use, what to take and all that. Uh, because some of you know that I'm sponsored by BPN. So all the supplements I'm gonna be showing you guys today are BPN supplements, Bare Performance Nutrition. The reason that they're all BPN isn't because I'm trying to sell them to you guys. It's because that's all I have because that's like there's no other reason for me to have uh, any other supplements. I recommended them before I was sponsored by them. I recommend them now as always. So what I'm gonna talk about in this video is some of the things that I actually use in the gym and then if you're starting out, what you should actually look at. Because I know if you go to BPN's website, there's gonna be endo pump, there's gonna be creatine, there's gonna be protein, there's gonna be in focus, there's gonna be all these other things. And so what are some of the things that you guys should focus on if you're just trying to, you know, get in, get in pretty good shape before you leave for basic training? Because when you get to basic training, you know, the more in shape you are when you're there, it's going to be a lot, you know, easier for you as far as the physical stamp. So what are some of the supplements that I use on a regular basis? And if you guys are looking into, you know, building muscle and all that, you have got to have protein. That is just something that your body needs. Your muscles need protein to build. Like that is like what they are made of. So if you're not getting enough protein and you're going to the gym and you're working out and you're trying to build strength, and you're trying to build muscle, it's really not gonna do that much for you. You might build a little bit of strength because you're just working out the muscles that you already have, but if you're not getting the right amount of protein, right? So if you're not getting enough protein, which is about a half a gram to a gram per body weight. So you look at whatever your body weight is, a half a gram to a gram, depending on where you, how serious you are, pretty much you could start at a half a gram, get that much protein in, and then you know you can really actually look at actually building muscle. So if you're not getting protein in, that's something you're gonna have to do. So protein is pretty much a must, and if you're curious what I like the most with their protein, uh, it's a cinnamon roll and the milk and cookies. I got some of their milk and cookies the other day, and it has just been the bomb to me. Uh, the next big thing that should be kind of a staple, depending on where you're at, I don't recommend this, for people who are just starting in working out and fitness and stuff like that. So if you're a little bit more on the intermediate level, maybe you've been working out a little bit, I do recommend creatine. Creatine, what that's gonna do for you is basically uh, your blood vessels, right? So a lot of times whenever you take creatine, people notice, oh man, your veins are popping out more. It's because it's really expanding your blood vessels so that more blood, more oxygen can be pumped to your muscles. So whenever you're working out, you might actually be able to pump out an extra rep or two. So let's say you're doing bench press, you're doing a weight that you can normally do 10 times. Well, once you get creatine, you take that for a little bit and then maybe it kind of helps you get an extra rep or two. So you can do that same weight 11, maybe 12 times. So it gives you a little bit more endurance. It helps a little bit with your recovery for your muscles. So two big staples, kind of the two big things um, that you want to look at whenever you're getting some supplements is protein and creatine. Protein is one of the little bit more expensive things. I think those uh, protein things are like $33 or something and then the creatine is pretty cheap. Creatine is just one of the cheaper supplements so uh, that's kind of a must. The next kind of staple as far as supplements goes that I use that you guys might want to be thinking about using is the InFocus and pre-workout. The really big staple is pre-workout. A lot of people take pre-workout but a lot of people don't like the itchy feeling that you get. So if you guys didn't know if you're really new to weightlifting and stuff and new to supplements, pre-workout has um, uh, beta alanine in it, which kind of gives you like an itchy tingling feeling, kind of lets you know that it's working, right? But a lot of people don't like that. And BPN's in focus is kind of like a pre-workout, just to kind of summarize it. 
So it's a little bit like a pre-workout, but without that beta alanine. It's not gonna give you that itchy feeling. The in focus, it kind of lets you focus more in the gym. That's literally kind of what it what it says. Uh, so for me personally, depending on what day it is, depending on if I'm going to the gym late or early, I'll take one of these two. I'll either take you know uh, pre-workout, especially if I want to be you know real hardcore in the gym. I'll take a whole bunch of pre-workout. Uh, if I want to have just a more focused you know gym day, you know maybe I want to hit some arms and I just want to really focus. I'll hit. Uh, the in focus supplement one of the next supplements that I take on a regular basis Especially whenever I'm trying to lose weight because a lot of times when you're losing weight You are going to be losing muscle So you want to be trying to eat as much protein as you can if you're trying to lose weight So you don't lose some muscle and you also want to be taking BCAAs. So they call it intraflight, but it's BCAAs branch chain amino acids these are uh, some of the, this is one of the supplements that your body is going to need in order to recover, in order for your muscles to basically rebuild and retain them. So if you're trying to lose weight and you're working out a lot and you're not getting enough protein, you're not getting your BCAAs in, then you could be actually burning some of that muscle, right? So that is something that you kind of want to look at getting or looking into if you kind of fall into that category of wanting to lose a whole bunch of weight, uh, but you also want to retain your muscle. You can use it when you're bulking. Personally, I don't use it that much whenever I'm bulking. I really just use it whenever I'm trying to lose a little bit of weight, but it is also beneficial whenever you are bulking. And the last supplement that I use on a regular basis is their Endo Pump. This is basically a pump formula. Does exactly what it says. Whenever you go into the gym, and especially if you're that kind of person who likes to feel the pump. If you're new to the gym, like I said, you know, some of these things might be new to you, but the pump, basically, let's say you're doing some curls and your arms are just feeling huge, you know, they're just, you're feeling real tight and everything, and a lot of people really like that. So if you do, endo pump is just freaking amazing. So a lot of times, if I'm hitting biceps, if I'm hitting arms, I'm definitely going to be taking my endo pump. Now the question for you guys is if you want to get some supplements because and again in the live stream that I talked about uh, a lot of you guys don't know where to start. Some of the key things, so if I were to recommend three things, it will be protein, creatine, and pre-workout and or in, in focus uh, depending on where you stand on the whole beta alanine thing, right? So those are the three things that you guys want to look at. Protein, you want to need your, you need your protein if you're working out regardless. Creatine is going to be great and then uh, Pre-workout, I almost lost my train of thought there. If you don't like pre-workout, if you're one of those people who doesn't like that thing, then you can switch it out for BCAAs. Those are, I really kind of just recommend three things. But again, this is, I really want to say this because I don't want to sound like I'm selling things to you guys. Because you guys, you can get the BPN supplements, you cannot get the BPN supplements. Does not hurt my feelings whatsoever. I just, I have always recommended them. So that's just what I'm talking about in this video. That's all that I have. Now, if you're one of the few people that has made it to the kind of end of this video, I do want to add here that, remember, these are supplements. These aren't things, they're not magic, you know, powders, you know, obviously, I don't recommend taking uh, fat burners and stuff like that. So if you take fat burners, maybe if you're way overweight, that might help a little bit. But just note, if you do decide to take fat burners as like a supplement, you're going to be losing muscle. I don't care what the they say, oh, you're gonna lose you know, all this fat and not any muscle. If you take fat burners, you're going to be losing some muscle. But these supplements are supplements. They should supplement whatever your diet is, right? So you shouldn't be taking you know, eight protein shakes a day trying to hit your protein you know, uh, macros, right? You should be eating some chicken, you should be eating some steak, you should be eating foods that have protein, but to hit your goal, right? So let's say you weigh 150 pounds, you're going at the half a gram per pound mark for protein. You're at 75 grams of protein. That's kind of your goal for the day, every day, 75, maybe to 100 grams. And you're at like 50, 60 grams of protein. Maybe you didn't eat that much protein that day. So what you can do is you can take a protein shake to supplement what you're missing, right? Same thing with, you know, you know, really just everything else, the BCAAs. You know, their branch chain amino acids. What What's on here, I'll, I was gonna read it, but that's just gonna be stupid. What's on there are things that you can get by eating, you know, healthy foods, but if you're not getting the proper diet, if you're not doing all these things, that's kind of why BPN has the strong greens. If you're not having a proper diet, these supplements should supplement that and help you out, right? So they should definitely help if you're wanting to spend the money to spend on protein, if you want to spend the money on creatine, if you want to spend the money on the pre-workout to help you get that focus and that energy when you're in the gym, it is going to help, but it's also not going to make or break you, right? So you can totally work out 
for really forever without taking any supplements whatsoever. You just gotta keep in mind that these are supplements and they're not miracle working powders. So I wanna note here, if you made it to the end of this video, that it went way longer than I thought it was gonna be. So if you made it to the end of this video, if you wanna hit that like button, that would be awesome. If you wanna stick around some more videos, hit the subscribe button, that would be even better. I didn't even mention, if you wanna get anything, the um, for BPN anyways, link is in the description, or you can look for something else on Google, maybe you can compare and contrast things or whatever. Uh, but yeah, if you're not following me on Instagram and Snapchat, the links, all right here. I hope you guys have an amazing day and I will see you later. Drop.